What's up everyone, I'm the 417 back with another video with the Jets, the Vikings at Jets, week six, or week seven preview. Messed up both times. Three and three, three and three, Kirk Cousins and the Vikings, Jets and the, um, Darnold and the Jets. Huge game, both teams are at 500, like I said, they're both three and three. And this game um, tells the story of both teams really this year. Um, number one, it tells the story for the Vikings. If you would have asked me last year towards the end of the season, would the Jets stand a chance? The Jets of next year stand a chance against the Vikings? I would have said no chance at all. But this season tells this a totally different story because it's it's year to year in the NFL. Teams are not the same as they were last year. And that's the case for the Vikings for some reason this year. And I don't know why. You're looking, you're talking about a team with um, a pro bowler at every position it seems like. You know, Adam Thielen, who's leading the league in receiving right now. Kirk Cousins could be a Pro Bowl quarterback. Um, he might as well be. Dalvin Cook, the running back. Um, on the defensive side of the ball, uh, Pro Bowl at every position, you know, Xavier Howard, I believe, the corner. Um, Anthony Barr, a linebacker. Everson Griffin, a defensive end. Um, Ted Hendricks, a linebacker. Um, and, you know, just guys that are just talented and hard workers, Pro Bowl caliber guys all across this team. So, I'm really excited to see. Um, I'm kind of nervous about this game, for, um, to be honest, as a Jets fan. But I feel confident about this game, and, I, and I'm going to tell you why. There's going to be a few keys to this game. I'm going to keep it short and simple. The number one key is the Jets against Kirk Cousins. The Jets are 8-2 and two all time against the Vikings and 5-0 and oh against the Vikings at the Jets stadium. Um, but against Kirk Cousins, the Jets have never lost in the regular season. The only time they played him was back in 2015 when we had Ryan Fitzpatrick, Brandon Marshall, and Eric Decker. And, you know, just a great team, a great defense overall in general. We got the Kirk Cousins off in early. We picked him off a few times in the game, and we blew out the Redskins that game. And we were at home, and it was sort of early in the season. I think that was week five or something, just like it is now. Not week five, but early in the season, you know what I mean? Close to midseason. But I feel like for the Jets to win this game, they've got to do the same thing. Take film from that game if you have to. How did the Jets, or even this year, how did the Vikings lose their games? Um, and how did the Jets beat the Redskins and beat Kirk Cousins that game? And the main answer is throw the kitchen sink at the guy. Get in his face. That's the key to beating quarterbacks in this league nowadays. Throw the kitchen sink at him. Confuse him with coverages. Um, a blitz often like you did against Luck. Luck is a totally different quarterback than um, than um, Kirk Cousins, but because you know, just because of Andrew Luck, how quick he releases the ball, he doesn't sit there all day in the pocket and try to find somebody like Kirk Cousins does often. And Redskins fans would agree with me, and even Vikings fans would. Um, but Andrew Luck's a much uh, much tougher quarterback too, and much smarter. But what doesn't separate them too much is the fact that. Just like a normal person, if you're in somebody's face, it's going to be hard to make the best throw possible right on time. So don't give him time to look down the field for guys like Adam Thiel and Stephon Diggs and Kyle Rudolph. You know what I'm saying? Pro Bowl guys. Don't let those guys get open. Don't let them have time to throw to them and find them open. And if he doesn't have time to throw, they're going to try to, be, they're going to, try to run the football with Dalvin Cook. You shut the run down, what are they going to do on the offensive side of the ball? And that's what the Jets have done so good this year. They've eliminated the team's top threats. They've shut the run down for the most part. Um, so look for that to happen in this game. I like the Jets at home in this game. Um, the Jets have the most takeaways, second most takeaways in the league. I like them to pick off Kirk Cousins at least once, maybe twice, maybe three times. Who knows what Jets team will show up. I just hope this isn't the Jets team that was home against the Dolphins after the win against the Detroit Lions. I hope this Jets team is amped, they're ready, they play to their full potential, and they get the win at home, and they go to 4-3 and three on the season. As far as the Vikings go, you're 3-3, three and three, and you cannot lose this game. You cannot lose this game. You're talking about a team that went to the divisional round of the playoffs last year, no, the NFC Championship, and they're 3-3. Three and three. And if they lose this game, they're 3-4. and four. 
Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I like the Jets to actually win this game. 20 to 17 in a close battle. I just like the fact that they're at home and the Vikings are an indoor team going to an outdoor stadium. They didn't do so well when they did it. Had to go to Buffalo. And I don't think it'll do so good going to MetLife Stadium. I think it's going to be loud. I think it's going to be noisy. And Kirk Cousins is not the type of guy to win on the road. He never has been in his whole career. Just look at his road record. Anyway, that's all my prediction for this video. Um, I like the Jets to win 2017. Look for Isaiah Crowell, the Jets running back. They have a big game. I don't want Sam Darnold in this offense to sit back and try to pass the ball the entire game. I think the Jets will run the ball, and the Vikings' run defense is very, very overrated. I think the Jets will be able to run on the Vikings, and that Isaiah Crowell will have at least 100 yards and a couple touchdowns. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and as always, you heard it first from Harley. Go Jets.